It is interesting how online influencers who are devoid of the basic understanding of classical Arabic language are now playing the role of experts. But in fact, they are amateurs who seem to be quite sure of themselves. While the early Arab linguists who were masters of their language were mesmerized by its grammatical marvel. These anti-Islamic influencers are claiming the Qur'an states Dhul Qarnayn saw the sun literally setting in a murky body of water. However, Dhul Qarnayn was a great leader of stature who was inspired by Allah with knowledge and wisdom. For example, he taught the people how to smell iron and copper to build a massive and complex barrier. Also, these online influencers seem to be more fixated with name calling and due to their insecurity, they coin new words such as Muslim apologetic to mask their ignorance instead of focusing on their limitation or handicap of the Arabic grammar. But what is even more remarkable is their lack of understanding of English grammar as well, as we will explain next. A certain anti-Islamic influencer recently made the mistake by applying a narrow explanation of the word wajada as strictly to mean to find. For example, someone who found a coin which they could feel and touch. But in his haste to vilify the word of Allah, he is oblivious of the fact even in English the word does not always literally mean to find an object. It could also mean something which appears or manifests itself metaphorically. English dictionary synonyms for find, be present, occur, exist, be met with, be existent, appear, show itself, manifest itself, be obtained. In addition, they seem to be very selective in their so-called mistakes of the Qur'an, but had they continued to read a few more verses in this chapter, they would have realized the word wajada in ayah 90 clearly does not mean the sun is located right above their head. Surah 18 verse 90 Until when he came to the rising of the sun, he found it rising on a people for whom we had provided no covering protection against the sun. As we have seen in the English language how the word to find conveys different meanings, is there any evidence in the Arabic where the Qur'an gives example how the word wajada also carries different meanings? But as for those who are bent on denying the truth, their good deeds are like a mirage in the desert, which the thirsty supposes to be water, until when he approaches it, he finds that it was nothing. Instead, he finds that God has always been present with him and that he will pay him his account in full or God is swift in reckoning. Surah 24, Ayah 39. There cannot be a better example of how the usage of the root word wajada in this verse is mentioned twice as a metaphor. In the first part, it states he appeared wajada to see a mirage, and in the latter part of the sentence, the person would experience the existence of Allah through the natural phenomenon which surrounds him. Moreover, the Qur'an does not use old folklore and mythologies to describe natural phenomenons, but rather use words containing layers of meaning such as the rotation of earth, and other scientific discoveries which are only recently discovered by scientists. For example, the next ayah explains how the earth, moon, and sun possess its own orbit. <laughs> If one would take a careful and comprehensive look into the Qur'an Arabic usage of the words night and day, they will notice it is used as a metaphor to represent the rotation of earth on its axis, as we will be demonstrating in the rest of this video. But first, it must be understood that the word each in Surah 21, 33 also means all of them. 
Therefore, this means not just the earth, but equally the sun and moon are all rotating on its axis, while at the same time following their own respective orbit. This verse is also an example how the Qur'an eloquent usage of the grammar conveys a much more comprehensive meaning than the English language. For example, the word falakin in Surah 21, Ayah 33, usually translated as rotating, in fact also means whirl of a spindle, something very similar as the earth spinning on its axis. And the last word in this ayah, yasbahuna, root word means to swim or to flow, representing something very similar as to how a planet would move through space on its own because of the gravitational force of the sun. Moreover, it is only recently astronomers have discovered the sun not only rotates on its axis, but also orbits around a black hole located in the center of our galaxy. Subhanallah! What an amazing choice of words prescient for its day, something the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, could have never known. Furthermore, there are now scientific research papers which also use night and day as an illustration to represent the rotation of Earth on its axis, as one could see in this image. The early Muslim scientists such as Al-Batani and Ibn Sina were very observant of the words of the Qur'an and why they excelled in astronomy and mathematics. In the next ayah, we will be speaking about the idea of the calendar and its origin. And in fact, the word calendar has its source from Arabic. And we have made the night and day two signs, and we erased the sign of the night and made the sign of the day visible that you may seek bounty from your Lord and may know the number of years and the account of events and everything we have set out in detail. Surah 17, Ayah 12. Here, night and day is once again used to count the years. How else would one count the days to determine the year if night and day does not represent the Earth's rotation and its orbit around the sun? This verse also highlights night and day when it comes to the significance of a calendar to account for events in the past and future. Another verse which further shed light on the phenomenon of night and day by usage of the word yukawur, which represents something goes around, similar to someone wrapping a turban around. He created the heavens and the earth in truth, wrapping night about the day and wrapping the day about the night, and he has subjected the sun and the moon each of them running to a stated term. Is not he the Almighty, the All-Forgiving? Surah 39, Ayah 5 As for those who show contempt to anyone who attempts to improve outdated translations of the Qur'an by labeling them as apologists, are not just ignorant of the Qur'anic grammar, but equally lack scientific knowledge. This could be easily demonstrated by just googling what night and day represent. Amazingly, the first thing which shows up is night and day are caused by Earth's rotation on its axis. It's awkward to structure words in English grammar to represent Earth's rotation on its axis and orbit around the sun at the same time, making the Qur'an grammar far superior than the English language even by today's standard. This superb literary style is what makes the Qur'an grammar unique and difficult to imitate and why early poets and linguists came to the conclusion its source could be none other than Allah. Indeed, this is what makes it the greatest miracle given to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam.